So what about um, sharding, which is uh, this proposal that could improve the execution part of things and divide Ethereum state into different sub-states that don't need to care about each other as much. Is it too complicated in your view to implement or what is your view on sharding as, as a concept? Um, when it comes to performance, you, you can imagine that you have uh, on one end of the spectrum, a bunch of 286 processors connected by 14K modems and say, hey, we're just going to have a million of them and shard it. We're going to compete with uh, a modern um, Intel processor with uh, 20 cores and um, everything. It's just the communication overhead of sharding plus the difficulty in programming such a device uh, means that even though theoretically you might get more transactions, there's two things. You have quantity of transactions and quality of transactions. Um, and you might be able to increase a qual the quantity of a certain type of transaction by sharding, but you're not going to be able to do the, the quality of transactions that DAP developers actually need. And you're not going to be able to do so with the performance and latency that you need. Because as soon as you start sharding, now you have to have all these extra delays in, in confirmation while you wait for the other shards to catch up. Um, and the communication overhead really, really slows things down. So uh, I, I don't see sharding as a solution any more than I see a cluster of 286s connected by modems as a solution to scaling desktop computers.